What's going on everybody? My name is Jatir and welcome to The Conversation. So this week I want to talk to you guys about limiting beliefs and what I found out about limited beliefs. I never knew what this was and that's why I'm so adamant about people learning about themselves, about personal growth, taking time to focus on yourself because there's so much that goes on in the world that we don't even know about. And these things keep you from moving forward and being like the best version of yourself. Limited beliefs can have stemmed from your childhood and it's basically based off of a criteria that you live off of from judgment, from opinions of how someone's seen you or how you see yourself. It also ties into the book that I read, The Four Agreements, that you can make an agreement based off of what you have experienced in your life of something that happened and uh, it happened bad and since that moment you thought, I'm not good at that because you did it bad one time and now they become an agreement, which is a belief. And you live your life based off of that. A limited belief is basically you're limiting yourself based off of the thoughts that you have about yourself. That you are not um, adequate. You're not able to do something. And you're limiting your success and your growth. Confidence plays a huge part in you being, being able to move forward and just do whatever you're trying to do. It takes a lot of confidence for me to sit here in front of this camera to have these conversations because I'm still trying to learn what I'm doing and how I'm doing it and how to make it better. But I believe in myself. I'm confident in, my, in, in myself and in my growth. Just like right now, having a stumble. Like, these things come in time. You grow in time and you move forward in time. You don't have to be perfect. That's the reason why I say progress, not perfection. Because I'm still building day by day, brick by brick. But I want you guys to understand that you don't want to live your life limiting yourself without you understanding that these things can be subconsciously. You're not even realizing that you're limiting your growth and your potential because you're not investing into yourself to be able to move forward. Just the thought that I've had from me uh, reading a life coaching book and understanding the difference between life, life coaching, counseling, and therapy is helping me to understand who I am and where I'm actually trying to go. And I cannot have this success. I cannot grow within myself. Not the success as far as the world acknowledging me and who I am, what I'm trying to do, but the success within myself that I'm actually growing because I'm saying, oh, man, this is a thought process that I didn't have. And maybe I'm a person who have limited myself and my growth, and I know I have. So I want to come to this platform to let you guys know that there is something called limited beliefs, and you have to spend time and, and think about, am I limiting myself and what I'm able to do? Uh, sometimes in the workplace, you can be worth so much more, but yet because of your belief, your lack of belief in yourself, you just settle for whatever someone is willing to give you. You're not actually progressing uh, in your career field because someone won't give you a promotion because you don't carry the confidence because you don't really think that you deserve it. Why? Because you have a limited belief about yourself. You want more money, but you won't ask for more money because you have a limited belief that you should ask for more money. But you want to be maybe too humble to be like, oh, maybe I shouldn't. So you're selling yourself short because you don't believe in yourself. You're not confident. These are limited beliefs. Closed mouth, never get fed. You have to stand up for what you want and for what you believe in. Put the time in to invest into yourself and figure out, am I limiting myself, limiting myself from what I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to accomplish? That's been my time, y'all. It's one love from me to you. Remember that it's progress, not perfection. You rest in the end, not the middle. Whatever you want to do, you have to go for it, y'all. We are already into January, the second week into January. And I just want to be able to motivate you guys to understand that these weeks, these months are going to go by. Invest your time. Do whatever you can do. Be the best version of yourself every day. Every day is a reset button. My name is Detir, and welcome to The Conversation. <laughs>